Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video we are going to be talking about which champions will be best to rank 3 initially, basically. So in today's video we're going to go over class by class and I'm just going to give my opinions of which would be the champions I would be most likely to take rank 3. Uh, well, would I have them? And I think without a doubt pretty much the hardest class to decide is science because it entirely depends on which champions you have, which champions you have taken, right? Because there are so, so many legitimately valid rank three candidates. In my opinion, Hulk, Joe Fixit, Mr. Negative, uh, Photon, Silk, Spider-Ham, you know, if you have Awakened Spot as well, Overseer, Titania, if you have Awakened Void, all of those kind of make sense. Which one of them makes the most sense? If you have a Photon, that's who I'd go for. Um, yeah, that's who I am probably going to end up going for if I do get the science gem. Other than that, obviously, we have Titania up there with Hulk as the front runners um, and Spider Ham as well, even an Awakened. So, for me personally, again, science class is probably the most jacked class overall, seven stars as well. And I would say that Photon is clear in a way the best seven star to take to rank three. Should you have her? Yes, you know, her awakened ability and SIG does help her a lot, but I'll tell you from my personal experience. Unawakened Photon works amazing anyhow, and she's been absolutely phenomenal. Uh, so there we go. And then obviously we have the Titania and Spider Ham. I think that would be the top three in science class, should you happen to pull science show. Moving on to skill class. And in skill class, uh, there are not as many, but again, it's quite similar situation because some people are heavily into Mantis. What I think, however, in skill class would be some best seven stars to take rank three. Uh, well, number one would be Korg, because Korg seems to be like an immortal defender. <laughs> like every meta, every, you know, Valgrounds uh, season, Korg is a pain point. There are like a very, very, very few metas where Korg doesn't pose like a significant defensive threat. Obviously, Alliance War Defense, and uh, whether we like to admit it or not, and I still get some snarky comments in my comment sessions like, Battlegrounds has changed the way you view champions. Yeah, absolutely, because the game has changed. Previously, some three, four years ago, we cared a lot about story content. Now, competitive players really don't care or rank champions for story content. A great example there would be when I was releasing Act 6 videos and guides, my most watched video on the channel ever is 6.22 sinister guide and if i upload a guide in act 8 nobody cares because that is how the game has evolved and changed and you know somebody wants to hold it against me that i value battlegrounds or uh, some different game ones more yeah i absolutely do because whether again you like to admit or not everybody has changed the way we view champions and ranking up defenders isn't you know bad or a crazy idea anymore so absolutely think about Korg, Killmonger, imagine the beast. Killmonger is all right offensively, he's not completely garbage. I have been using him as my rank 2 offensively as well, but rank 3 Killmonger, you could just put it on defense and pretty much collect your points. <laughs> right, moving on, Shang-Chi, I think would be a very, very solid rank 3 champion as well. I think with Shang-Chi, you could pretty much go to level 2 and noob down everything if you had a rank 3 Seven star Shang Chi. So I think those are overall the three best science cha the skill champions rank up. Uh, then Crossbones. I think if you do have Crossbones, even an Awakened uh, is a fairly solid pick as well, just due to the fact of however many fights, tricky fights he can do and can answer. Moving on to Mutant Class, I think Mutant Class has just you know two clear front runners, potentially three. I think the best mutant to take rank three is Bishop. Awakened or unawakened, if you get a mutant jump, if I get a mutant jump, Bishop's going up. It's just as simple as that. He's a great offen uh, offensive champion, great defensive champion. Some metas absolutely supercharge him. And uh, yeah, he can do some very, very tricky and heavy matchups. So I think Bishop is pretty much the best mutant champion to take rank 3, especially if you're talking unawakened. Uh, if you do get your Domino awakened, however, then Domino is also an amazing choice because the rank 3 domino could absolutely destroy both offensively and defensively i still remember first time ever fighting against yusafas rank 2 like sig 40 or 60 domino and i kind of have ptsd from that seven star domino is kind of a completely different beast because of challenger rating especially if you use a lower rank champion against her she just makes the fight miserable and then as another solid option i think in mutant class we have sunspot 
he would be like a worthwhile champion to rank up for many reasons obviously again another champion you'd just be able to get to level two and nuke opponents down without ever throwing a level one before that probably and then on top of it if you have him awakened he would be an absolute prestige menace as well as sooner or later that will become relevant again and uh yeah he's one more of those champions that kind of has more utility than initially meets the eye moving on to tech class i think there are two clear tech winners for most part the the best tech champion to take to rank three in my opinion shuri um she just does a lot she's the champion i want the most if i get a tech gem i'd probably save it until i explore necropolis and then rank up shuri that's how confident i am that that is the right call she's a great attacker great defender has a ton of rare utility she's still the only champion in the game where all of her hits are non-contact which means she's pretty much impossible to parry by normal champions and also that you can't get accidentally parried and also you don't take taunts damage against uh, several champions and so on and so forth so i think shuri would be a crazily good uh, you know champion to rank up i think warlock would be solid champ to take to rank three as well without a doubt Unawakened Warlock is significantly less scary on defense. Uh, that's a very big part of the reason why I put Shuri ahead of him, but Warlock is still an amazing champ. And then I think Lady Deathstrike is a solid pick as well. Uh, I have not heard anybody be too unhappy with their rank 2 Lady Deathstrike, and therefore by extension I think the rank 3 would also work fine. She would be like my third pick. In Cosmic Class, one thing I want to point out, because I think Cosmic Class overall is one of the weaker when it comes to seven stars i don't think you know because cosmic class in itself is extremely top heavy and we have basically none of those top heavy champions uh as seven stars so well it is quite obvious that mutant class is the weakest overall i think when it comes to the seven star champions in general cosmic class probably in the last place like let's be real not okay we're starting to get some like hyperions but you know we we haven't gotten our Hercules' Hulklings, Gallus, uh, CGI, stuff like that. We do have Hyperion now, though. Uh, so with Cosmic Class, one thing that we definitely need to talk about is Maestro. I don't know yet how good or bad he is going to be. I wouldn't rush to rank 3 him, but it is perfectly plausible that he might be one of the champions that's worth taking to rank 3. So, like, for me, if I got myself uh, if i got myself a cosmic rank up gem under different circumstances i definitely want to kind of wait and see how well maestro does offensively defensively and all that stuff uh test him out a little bit before i figure out whether he's worth taking rank three and then moving on i think terex if he's awakened has been much 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 better than a lot of people expected i think that would be a very solid rank three champion i think venom especially with Venom Relic, if you have like a 5 or 6 star Venom Relic, could do great. Uh, then Vox, I don't know too much about the guy, some people seem to love him. I think Odin, maybe, but all of the cosmic options are kind of like, maybe. Uh, Hyperion, definitely, if I pulled Hyperion, I would take him to rank 3, even Unawakened and eventually give him the gem. I think he's by far and away the best cosmic champion like that we have up there, uh, maybe together with Null. Uh, so yeah, uh, Hyperion is kind of like the overall best Cosmic Champion we got, but you do want to get him awakened. Uh, so for most part, Cosmic Gem is probably the only one I don't really want to pull. Every other class, I kind of have a plan in mind exactly what I'm going to do. And Cosmic class, I'm kind of like, mm, I hope I don't. I honestly might end up taking my Silver Surfer to rank 3. Because there's nobody that I like really want to rank 3. Okay, uh, moving on to the final, I think my personal overall, so out of all of the seven star champions that I have, that I have ranked, I think I have gotten most value out of America Chavez. She has impressed me the most. And uh, that is definitely my rank three recommendation as well. And then obviously we have Juggernaut, who I highly and dearly recommend rank three. And then another thing is Sasquatch. Whether you like it or not, in between his damage mitigation, and he's helpful. A rank 3 Sasquatch will always be a problem. You might have the perfect counter to a Sasquatch, and it's still probably gonna take a while. 
So uh, those would be kind of like my mystic options. Obviously, mystic class is kind of similar to science class where, you know, if you have Dragon Man, also could be a solid option. If you have Duped more, maybe. Why not? If you have Kindred, for sure. Kushala, if you are, you know, wailing up for Kushala, definitely a solid option. So it kind of really does depend on who you have and who you like. Uh, in mystic class just about as much as in science class i do think that overall mystic and science are two of the strongest science star classes probably specifically speaking about science stars. and uh, that is where we are at as far as my personal plans uh, i'll probably cover it in a relatively short separate video because i didn't want to mix it up too much because uh, you know as i said i have a plan of who to rank Pending whichever class gem I get for my own account, but I didn't want to mix these two things together too much. And the reason why I made this video is kind of give you guys my recommendations per class. When you complete your Necropolis run, you will get, you know, one of this a random gem. You don't know which one. So hopefully this video can be useful, helping you decide, you know, which champion you would take up, pending which class you get. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, I'm not going to keep you guys much longer. See ya. Hello there, guys, and welcome back to the channel. So, we have all the information about...